Let's get salty! Hey everyone, Zeddy here again today with the third annual Zeddy's Hearthstone Award Show. We're dressed up. We are professional because today we have been building up our year-end review. Crown the best of the best, the worst of the worst, the best Hearthstone cards, the best Hearthstone decks. We're going to go over expansions. We have a ton of guests lined up to accept their awards. And this award show will highlight all cards and decks and all sorts of stuff were released throughout the year of 2022, which includes the expansions Voyage to the Sunken City, Murder Castle Nathria, as well as the most recently released March of the Lich King expansion alongside their mini set. That means we're also including the Fractured in Alterac Valley mini set. And 2022 was an awesome year for Hearthstone. We saw the introduction of the 11th class, the Death Knight. We saw Colossal Minions. We saw Locations. We had a murder mystery that spanned an entire expansion cycle. And we also got uh, Runestones added to the game. Um, sorry, sorry, um, I, I did not mean to mention that, but yes, tons of awesome stuff happened throughout the year and not just cards. We also got a bunch of new features like improved frame rate in the game. You could send friends deck codes in game finally. Oh, and for the whale like me, I can upgrade my cards to golden when Whenever I want and there's gonna be a ton of more features to come in the upcoming year so I cannot wait to see all the stuff we're gonna get before then let's celebrate and remember the best of the best the worst of the worst throughout the year and our winners of our giveaway of 200 hearthstone packs out of my wall are these people here they've been contacted and if I don't hear back from them in 24 hours I will pick new winners and stay tuned throughout the year We'll have lots of giveaways as always, as I always want to get back to you guys for being so incredible to me. What will our winners be receiving? Well, typically it's been a Studio Ghibli statue, but this year each winner is totally going to receive their own Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles DVD box set in the mail. Definitely going to send it and I'm totally not just being a little child and showing off my turtles box. So starting off the Zeddies, we have the best wild YouTuber of the year and there are ton of amazing content creators out there but your votes were counted and overwhelmingly this year's winner is here to accept their award and his name is raffle hey folks i just wanted to give a big thank you to those that voted for me for wild creator of the year really means a lot i also appreciate those that simply watch the videos it's still humbling after all these years how many people actually take time out of the day to watch me play hearthstone it's kind of mind-blowing to be honest with you uh, also, do check out some of the other nominees. There's a lot of fantastic creators in the wild format. Even though it's a bit of a smaller format, there's some great creative people making awesome videos uh, within the format. And finally, thank you to Zeddy for putting on this event to highlight some of the different corners of the Hearthstone community. So thanks again, everybody. Thank you, Raffle, for the kind words and a big shout out to everybody who's nominated. Now let's take a look at some cards, starting off with the underrated card of the year. Basically, what cards were reviewed pretty poorly, nobody expected to be that good and kick some serious butt. The runners up for this award were the Shock Spitter and Scale of Anixia, but overwhelmingly the winner by you guys, as well as myself, is Jackpot, the two mana rogue spell that adds two random spells from another class that cost five or more. And when you play a trickster, it's zero mana and has been meta throughout the entire year. And everybody's like, this will just be a dumb little meme card. But no, it was the most underrated card of the year. And well, let's go with the most overrated card of the year next, which saw runners up of Crixus and the elitist snob but again, the overwhelming vote, which I, again, my pick as well, is the neutral legendary from March of the Lich King, Invincible, the eight mana 5-5 five, five undead, that's Battlecry and Death Rattle, a buffing up another undead with plus five, plus five for like a really insane sticky presence and board buff, but it's eight mana, no great way to cheat it out and hasn't really seen relevant play outside of the arena where, well, yeah, it's pretty good there. It's a card that might pop up later, but for now, a lot of people like myself thought it would be like God tier auto include in a lot of decks. It is not included in basically anything. Next, we're gonna take a look at what the best wild deck of the year is and overwhelmingly voted by you guys, this card Warlock one and it wasn't even close i think we got some recency bias here as yes this with tome tampering that just got banned from wild was very dominant and impactful very recently my pick has got to be kale foster which 
literally led to turn one lethals basically in wild and was not exactly the reverting of a card you like to see and uh, it did not last for very long so it might not have stuck around in people's minds but for me that was the best wild deck of the year best standard deck of the year comes from the nathria meta with the runners up also being from the nathria meta imp warlock being a runner up as well as miracle rogue with three mana edwin but the winner overwhelmingly voted by you guys was ramp druid featuring unnerfed sire denathrius and yeah this deck was a terry at prince renathal in there also unnerfed it was hard to kill druid and then they would murder you with the sire denathrius who eventually did get murdered later on my vote though i'm gonna go with miracle rogue featuring three mana edwin because well denathrius wasn't nerfed when that came out and that deck just dominated was ridiculous and you see what rogue's doing these days imagine a three mana edwin in that deck before we continue on to crown some more winners i think it's important to take time to remember those that we lost throughout 2022 there were a lot of victims mostly by the hearthstone balance team and well let's take a moment to remember those we have lost Sorry, I'm to compose myself. On a more serious note though, I do want to uh, give my condolences to Brian Kibler who did lose Shiro earlier this year. And Shiro is like an institute in the Hearthstone community. Absolute awesome dog that uh, we were all really saddened to see go. Kibler seems to be doing pretty well these days. Has a couple of new pups and all of that, but Shiro will always be in our hearts. And I just want to sincerely send my condolences and remember Shiro, because Shiro was one awesome dog. For our next award, we're going to take a look at your favorite Battlegrounds YouTuber, the YouTuber that created your favorite content. Your vote and your winner by a large amount is none other than the, the vegan salt lord himself, Creparian. Hey guys, how's it going? Creparian here. Well, you've probably heard that a lot, dear Zeddy viewers. Uh, apparently you guys have voted me uh, best Battlegrounds YouTuber, is it? Well, thank you very much for that. I appreciate. Give reward. Give. I need praise. Well, sometimes it's nice anyway. Thank you very much for real. Um, so yeah, apparently you guys like the content. I appreciate it. It's always nice to hear when people do a good job. So keep up the positivity. Well, when you can. Anyway, and I'm talking to you, Zeddy. Take care. Thank you, Crip, so much. Big shout outs to content creators like Dog and It's Ben, all awesome content creators, and I highly recommend checking them all out. Next, we have the favorite expansion of the year, and this was the most contested category in the entire Zeddies. It literally came down to the last day, and it was between Murderer Castle Nathria and Voyage to the Sunken City. People love their colossal minions, love that theme song. People also love the murder mystery and flavor of Murderer Castle Nathria. And I feel like a lot of my viewers at least really love Prince Renathal. And as a result, Murder Castle Nathria just barely won best expansion of the year. And we just happen to have the set lead for that expansion to give some insight and some thanks for this award in Songbird Cora. Hello everybody. My name is Cora Georgiou. I'm the initial design lead on the Hearthstone team. And I was the set lead on Murder at Castle Nathria. And apologies for the really scuffed setup. I'm in my bathroom right now. Um, I'm sick and I moved across the country at the beginning of December and I lost my webcam <laughs> and my bedroom is not fit for anybody to look at right now. So this uh, had the best lighting. So here we are. Uh, but I knew that when I heard that Murder at Castle Nathria won the Zeddy for highest percentage of nerfed neutral legendaries in Hearthstone history uh, that I had to come on and say a few words. And those words really are just thank you. Um, thank you so much for the response to Murder at Castle Nathria. Um, we had a lot of incredible positive responses and also some um, incredible criticism that we can take to heart that will allow us to, to be better designers and to make better Hearthstone cards. Um, but I think there's a lot to be proud of there and it's a lot that I'm very proud of. You know, when we set out to make Murder at Castle Nathria, there are Hearthstone sets that are are sort of vibe sets and there are Hearthstone sets that are our narrative driven sets. And I really wanted to make a character driven narrative set 
um, that would really do the murder mystery genre justice. It's something that I love um, and that I was so excited to explore. And so all of these rich characters and this narrative that we came up with um, was what we were most excited about exploring and, you know, about making this wonderful flavor in a Hearthstone expansion. And I think we really accomplished that. And I think there's also a lot of wonderful gameplay there as well. Locations were something that we had wanted to make in Hearthstone for years. And it seemed like there was going to be no better time to do it thematically than in the murder mystery set. Um, and knowing that we were, you know, coming right after Sunken City, which had incredible mechanics, and we were going to be right before the Death Knight set, because we knew that very early on in Nafria development, um, we knew we had to do something to make Nafria stand out, because as the second set of the year, you can get a little lost. And we didn't want that to happen with the theme that we were all so excited about. Um, and that's where locations came in, and our artists and engineers and UI team just did a phenomenal job um, in making locations happen knowing how much work was going to have to be put into Death Knights. It's really kind of a miracle that it worked out um, as well as it did. And they seem to fit into Hearthstone really well. Players seem to really like them. So yeah, a lot to be proud of with Murder at Castle Nathria. Certainly some, some larger than life characters uh, like Sire Denathrius, who, you know, very appropriate to his character, um, had to take center stage for, you know, more than just his expansion. Um, but I think players also had a lot of fun. And there's a lot of you know, room to to grow for us as, as designers and a lot of uh, wonderful takeaways from that set. So yeah, very proud of it. Very happy to uh, accept this award on behalf of Murder at Castle Nathria. Um, and thank you all again for, for playing Hearthstone and, and for always, um, you know, making us smile and keeping us honest. We really appreciate it. And happy new year, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Cora, so much for taking the time to give us that insight and all those words. We appreciate you guys, and thank you for showing up on the Salt Lords channel. We really do appreciate that. Ironically, the next category, the most hated card of the year, was completely dominated by two cards during Murder Castle Nathria, with a distant runner-up, but the only card that got a lot of vote being Sire Denathrius and the winner of the most hated card of the year. I mean, did anybody doubt this? It's my vote, too. Theotar, which was originally four mana, steal a card from your opponent, drive them insane, and yeah, it's six mana now. Some people still really don't like it, and because who likes having their stuff taken? It's just not so good, but it's kind of needed, and it's six mana seems to be in a pretty good spot. Next, we have the worst card of the year. What was the card that sucked the most? And well, the votes came in strong, and I totally disagree with the winner, but we'll get to your guys' picks first. Kidnap and All Fell Breaks Loose were the runner-ups with the winner being an old card, an old card that used to exist, but was reprinted in the Path of Arthas, Brosmorn, which is just, by today's standards, incredibly slow, and it just kind of feels bad, but that's one of your legendaries you get with Path of Arthas. Maybe it'll get buffed at some point, but as it stands, Frostmourne, you gotta swing three times just to get that death rattle effect. Gotta hit a minion with, it's pretty darn brutal, but my vote, it's gotta go for the warrior card last stand. Four mana, draw one card, and all you do is double its stats, what is this? Ungoro, come on. Next, we have the best standard Hearthstone YouTuber of the year. Again, we have so many amazing content creators nominated for this. Regis and Trump were the runners up by your guys' vote, but overwhelmingly, this was the year of Rorin. Rorin took a huge risk and created amazing content, including Do You Know Hearthstone documentary videos. He reinvented the game for Hearthstone YouTube, a well-deserved award, and well, let's let him accept it himself. All right, thank you so much for giving me the Zeddy of YouTuber of the year. If you actually sent me one, I would have put it right there. So maybe next year you can, you know, send me one. If the next person gets it, I'm absolutely pissed. But thank you so much for giving it to me, Zeddy. Thank you so much for watching my content. I hope 2023 is just as good as 2022. Thank you, Rard, for that. Um, I promise this is this is coming in the mail. Absolutely, you're, you're gonna put it on your wall, this turtle's truck and to present the most broken card of the year we have of course nova here and uh well nova what has won the most broken card released in 2022 we had a lot of good ones to pick from in nova what is it no oh, really um the most broken card of 2022 in the grand winner of the zeddies i guess 
is scabs gutter butter, right? Right? Yeah, um, it's it's actually Sar Denathrius, but Nova is still traumatized by scabs. And Denathrius is my pick too. It murdered so many people. And thank you all for tuning in. Nova says hello and thank you all for all the support of the channel throughout the year. And thanks to everyone at Blizzard, Hearthstone for making the game that drives us so crazy, but we still keep coming back for more. And there's a lot of awesome stuff and I can't wait to see what comes in the new year. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends. Meow.